Q4 is finally here. Between open enrollment, the holiday season, and year-end compliance concerns, stress can sneak up on HR professionals during this time of year especially. It's easy to slip into ad hoc solutions for annual issues. But is that really the most effective way to set up organizations for success heading into the new year? In this episode of HR Party of One, I'll explain why you should consider a more strategic approach to Q4. We'll discuss things like why end of year prep can help set up organizations to succeed, how the highest performing HR professionals take advantage of the fourth quarter, and some other reminders and compliance concerns to consider in Q4. Let's get started. Too many organizations go on autopilot once November and December arrive and the holidays are here. I urge you not to fall into this trap. The fourth quarter should be the culmination of your annual plan, the time when you reach your goals and finish the year strong. How can you do that? Take it in two different steps. First, review your annual goals. What objectives did you set for yourself this year? What about your team? Assess where you stand. How close are you to reaching these goals? And what do you need to do between now and the end of the year to end on a high note? For example, let's say you set a SMART goal to improve your team's productivity while working from home. If you need a refresher, we covered SMART goals in episode 23. Look at the criteria you established for measuring this. And, and then measure it against your current progress. How close or far off are you from hitting your goal for the year? After you've reviewed your goal, then you may want to tweak your current approach. Once you've properly assessed where you stand, identify how you can adjust your tactics in these last three months to ensure that you finish as close to plan as you can, or above it and exceed it. Sticking with the same SMART goal example, let's say you wanted to see a 10% improvement in remote employee productivity by the end of the year. In this example, you're just 3% away from hitting your goal. Identify what changes you can make to encourage a more productive workforce heading into this fourth quarter. Whatever changes you decide to make, tackle them strategically and you'll put yourself in the best position to reach those year-end goals. You still have three months. But Q4 preparations aren't just about reaching your goals for the year. Consider this quarter an incredible opportunity to set up your organization for success in the new year. By planning ahead, HR teams and companies will be ready when January's here. Let's dig a little deeper into actual tactics that you can use. Here are five ways high-performing HR professionals take advantage of the fourth quarter. They plan ahead for open enrollment. HR should work with their benefits brokers every step of the way when building their 2021 benefits package. Take a proactive approach to open enrollment that considers challenges teams may face in the coming year. It's a time consuming process to get this right, but much easier to manage when you have a solid schedule. It's written down that you can follow. This way you aren't scrambling to put together benefits weeks or days before enrollment begins. We discussed online open enrollment in an episode earlier this year. I recommend you watch it if you haven't yet, or review it if you have. I've included a few additional resources to help you get started on planning benefits administration, including a day-by-day -day open enrollment strategy planner, and you can find it in the episode description. Also, audit your PTO policy. When was the last time you reviewed and updated your PTO policy? With coronavirus and changing employee benefits preferences, Top performing HR professionals are no doubt reviewing PTO policies this fall. Consider following suit and reviewing your organization's offering. By considering your company's financial health and the time off benefits it offers, HR can lead the charge towards meaningful PTO change if appropriate and ultimately a healthier organization. Keep an eye on compliance too. Heading into a new year, the IRS often makes adjustments to required forms like 1095Cs and even overtime thresholds and HSA contribution limits. Don't miss these. Update your policy and reporting documents accordingly. Bernie Portal's blog, by the way, regularly reports on these updates. I recommend signing up for newsletters if you haven't already. Check the blog regularly for all the latest HR news. Consider your culture too. Take a look at your company culture. What's working? What isn't? Consider what changes you could make to improve retention, recruitment, and engagement. And evaluate how something like an HRIS can help you achieve these goals. Keep an eye out for the next Bernie U course, which debuts in late October and covers this very topic. I recommend registering when you get a chance. Each course is free, and many are also redeemable for continuing education credits. Watch the HR calendar. Don't let yourself get swamped with New Year deadlines. A comprehensive HR calendar can help you stay on top of important dates, even before the year begins. Need to know dates include things like tax deadlines, EEO1 reporting, 
Form 941, quarterly due dates, and ACA compliance. And don't forget to keep an eye out for federal and state holidays too. Each of these steps makes for a more productive fourth quarter. But how can you help your employees succeed in the fall too? You can send Q4 reminders to your workers to help reduce administrative headaches come January 1st. If you do this, it'll be easier for everyone to be successful from the start. You'll have a good foundation. Consider five important HR reminders to send employees for the end of the year. Remind them to update personal information. Employees should make sure their contact information is up to date for W-2s and ACA forms in the new year. By the way, an HRIS streamlines this process so employees can make those changes on their own. Submit FSA information. Remember, many FSAs don't permit employees to roll funds over from year to year. That said, FSAs are surprisingly flexible when it comes to what qualifies as an expense. Remind your team of appropriate deadlines and encourage them to make the best use of their dollars before the new year if they still have them. Check PTO status. Even if you don't make major adjustments to your PTO policy, send a courtesy reminder to your team that their PTO expires or rolls over to the next year. Remind them to finalize benefits elections. If your group has an effective date, like most, that begins January 1st, employees need to make sure they've completed all their benefits elections and are satisfied with their choices well before the end of the year. They need to update HSA contributions too. HSA contribution limits typically change from year to year. Remind employees their contributions um, may change and to account for these adjustments. Now some homework. I recommend you outline your strategic approach to the end of the year. Write it down. Doing so provides a roadmap for your Q Q4 plan and establishes accountability for the entire team. A strategic plan also communicates to leadership and employees that not only do you have it covered, but that you've thought through how these objectives fall in line with your yearly goals and plan and how they align with the overall organization's priorities. Better still, strategic year-end prep demonstrates your role's value to the organization. You've no doubt noticed that a few of the recommendations I made this episode are inspired by past episodes of HR Party of One, and this isn't by accident. If you've been following us on this journey, you'll notice that as we approach the end of the year, we're compiling all of these seemingly disparate topics into a cohesive Q4 plan of attack. Check out the past episodes in our back catalog to build your end of year strategy. And at the end of December, you can point to each of your accomplishments and show how you put the company in a position to succeed now and moving into the next year. Thanks for watching. And catch the newest HR Party of One episode by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell. And remember, your job is as strategic as you make it.